Well, YouTube, it looks like I'm making a video today after all. We have uh, Daniel's footage of Daniel going to uh, UCLA, you know, the college that he got into, you know, that was teaching, teaching him about all those ancient Texanian rulers and whatnot. So, yeah, we're going to get to see some real stupidity today, and hopefully there's more coming because, you know, he did a couple more days of college too, so hopefully there's more. But, you know, this is what it is. This is what we got for now. So we're, I'm going to play this shit. This shit is going to be funny as hell. I ain't watched a second of it. I know it's going to be great. This is Daniel Larson attending UCLA. Brought to you by Larson Leak. Larson Leak is the best. We have everybody here. I believe so. Um, going to start class anyway here. Share the PowerPoint for all of you for this class. Uh, here we go. All right. So everybody can see that, right? Perfect. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I can see it. I can see it. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing that for now. Uh, I'm just going to take attendance real quick. Uh, when I say your name, please say that you are here. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. So first student on my list. John Anus. Oh uh, yeah, what's up? Uh, it's pronounced Anus. I'm okay. here though. Bart Ryder. Yeah, hello. Okay, Bart Ryder's I'm here. here. Bobby Bobby Boucher. Uh, I'm here. Clark Hunter. That's me. Daniel Larson. Okay, I see Daniel raising his hand. Fletcher Cox. Isaac Bogard. Here. Here. Just... Hello. I think my... Is my mic okay? I think my mic is a little glitchy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, today we're going to be doing a presentation um, on world history. I want to thank all of you for coming to this class. I'm going to start streaming my screen here in a second for you guys, just so you can see the presentation. All right. So welcome uh, to World History. Uh, this is the first class of the first semester in winter. My name is Michael Eichfeld. I've been a teacher here for three, year three years. It's pronounced anus. <laughs> that was fucking funny. Poor Daniel, man. He should have figured out after the anus guy that, you know, that was what was going on or Fletcher Cox or any of that shit. But he wouldn't be the Daniel we love to hate if he didn't. If he did, you know what I mean? And look at him staring into that fucking shit. He got some soulless eyelid. You know, there, there's not much going on behind there, man. That shit's scary, man. He looks like a manimal, you know what I mean? Like he's a fucking chimp or some shit like that. He's dangerous. You never know what Daniel could do, man. He's fucking the missing link or some shit like that. But yeah, let's watch some more of this. UCLA. Um, and so essentially what's going to be going on during this class is we are going to be exploring world history. Um, this is important as an elective uh, because you might have picked this class just for extra credits, or this might be a class that is a part of the credits that you need for your major or minor. OK, um, so today we're going to be talking about ancient civilizations. So I have a question for a few students here. Uh, I'm going to leave these as open questions when I ask them, um, but if you have an answer to one of these questions or think that you know the answer to one of these questions, um, it is important for you to just raise your hand or unmute your microphone um, and, you know, take turns when you're talking, okay? Um, I like having an open classroom, um, which is important to me. I like having open discussions and debate and letting people's voices be heard, all right? So the first ancient civilization, I'm going to call on... Uh, we have two Daniels. Um, Mr. I'm going to call on Daniel Larson. What is one thing you think of when you think of ancient Egypt?
Yeah, I can't hear him. Mr. Can you Larson. Hear me? Oh, yes, yeah. we can, yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Um I would say um when it comes to Egypt, the first thing that comes to mind would be um the great Egyptian pyramid. Perfect. That was the answer I was looking for. Thank you. The great pyramids in Egypt, right? That's the first thing everybody thinks of when they think of ancient Egypt, right? Perfect answer. The ones that I want to focus on today are ancient Mesopotamia and ancient Texas, all right? Now, ancient wow. Mesopotamia went back 3,500 years, okay? Ancient Texas goes back 3,000 years. Now, something that's much closer to home that happens to be in Texas is the Temple of Quantarius the Third. All right. First off, ancient Mesopotamia was not no damn two thousand years ago. That was five thousand years ago. So already, you know, they're they're already mixing in even more lies with the really insane lies like the Texas. What the fuck was the guy's name? I just I just heard it. Um, Tychondarius, some some weird name like that. Yeah, that's. Fuck it, it's, <laughs> I don't know, man, it's, yeah, that's pretty weird shit, but, you know, the anus guy, that was a fuck, <laughs> it's pronounced anus, that, man, really, though, uh, that would have been the point that anybody with the same mind would know that, and Bobby Boucher and shit like that, he's so dumb, poor Daniel, let's see what they're tr filling his head, the nonsense they're filling his head with now. The Temple of Quantarius III. This is a pyramid that was constructed 2,500 years ago in Texas. Obviously, in this uh, picture, it's being preserved um, due to archaeological efforts by scientists. Um, but this is a great example of the Temple of Quantarius in Texas. I believe it's located five miles from El Paso um, currently. But yet again, this is ancient um, history of its time. All right. Now, the first king of ancient Texas... His name was Ashid An Farad, and he was the first king. Now that's important to remember, because that will be on one of the quizzes that we have next week. All right. So if you need to take a screenshot of my presentation, I think I, I saw this guy at a museum one time. But yeah, so Ashid and Farad was the first man inside of ancient Texas who actually established the royal family, all right? And he lived around Houstonia, and we're going to talk about Houstonia because ancient Houstonia was the foundation city of modern-day Houston, right? And you, I'm sure you've learned about this in school, or this is something that you learned about in maybe middle school, high school, um, depends on which course you were in, um, but yet he was the head monarch of um the the state of texas or the ancient city of texas all right now the main religion what are i'm gonna have you guys name the first religion you can think of when it comes to your mind right because we're going to compare it to the religion of ancient texanians right so i'm going to start with uh I'm sorry if I'm going to confuse two of my students here. I'm going to refer to you by your last names instead of your first names, just so we don't confuse our students here. Mr. De Niro, what is a what is a religion that comes to your mind? Just just out of the blue, what do you think of? Hey, uh, uh, I mean, I I got a couple like uh, Muslim friends type shit, and I, I yeah. Okay, so people who are Islamic, right? So we've named Christianity. We've named Islam. Uh, I'm going to pick on one person for the third here. Um, I'll pick on Mr. Mr. Larson had a very good answer the first time. Mr. Larson, can you think of uh, just uh, any religion you can think of um, off the top of your head here? Buddhism. Good. Yes, Buddhism. It's a very good answer. Uh, Buddhism it was a popular religion back in the day stoicism is what it's called was an old religion back in the day that was a mixture of both buddhism and islam 
All right. Now let's move on. The major cities of ancient Texas, right? How many of you here have been to Houston before? She, I sheed and far dead. How did he say that without laughing, man? I couldn't have done that shit without laughing, dude. I just started giggling as soon as he is. Oh, man, it, it wouldn't have been good. I wouldn't have been able to pull that one off. That's that's definitely commendable. And uh, Daniel's definitely learning. You can see in his crazy eyes. It's those filthy fingernails of his, man. That's so disgusting. Like, what possible reason in the world should a man ever have long nails for? I always, you know, personally, I keep mine completely trimmed. Like, as soon as I see the white of the tip of the nail, I trim that back. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I like to keep my hands trimmed real good. I know. I don't know. I just do. All right. Let's see some more Daniel. This is pretty ridiculous shit to begin with, so this is fun. Stoicism was a was a was a mix of Buddhism and Islam, and Daniel's like, ah, oh, yeah, <laughs> that crazy fucking goblin motherfucker, fucking Daniel, man. Let's get some more into this. You can say it out loud if you've been to Houston before. Has anybody been to Houston? I I I I I I went I went there once. I've been to Houston. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, Houston is a great city. Um, if you go very south far south in houston if you look at the picture that i have on the slideshow you'll actually still be able to visit the remnants of the ancient houstonian walls all right um so the ancient houstonian walls still stand they're not as tall as they used to be uh two thousand years ago but the houstonian walls were very big walls that were built by ancient texanians two thousand years ago right and then we take a look at uh Dales. The old city, which is now named Dallas today in Texas, right? So Dallas is one of the older cities in Texas versus Houstonia. It's about 2,000 years before – or sorry, but was built in 0 BC. And still there are not many remnants that are left in Texas right now. Um, how many of you have been to Dallas before? I'm actually just uh, curious. Has anybody was, been to I Dallas? Was, I was there one time. Uh, uh, me, and, me and my mom um, – went there yeah my, my my dad was on the run from uh federal marshals and he he ended up in dallas i think uh he he, he forgot to pay a uh, child support so he he had to go uh, i think it was dallas i don't know all right um so first we have three thousand years ago we have ancient Texas, right? It had high economic power and stability. Their economy was very, very good in ancient Texas, right? Then we have an era where they were struggling and they were using stones as currency, right? I'm going to call on Mr. Larson here. This You can just guess. You can, you can guess as to what it was like. But what do you think it was like in Imperial Texas about a thousand years ago? What do you think it was like? Mr. Larson, you're muted. Mr. Larson. Man, I want to say that it was um, very. I want to say people were using like they went through a period where they were using like anything that they could find, like um, kind of like how um, when America was first created um, and we didn't have like paper coins or paper dollars or whatever, like we would be using gold. I believe that they were using um, stones, um, gold, silver. Um, mining was big back in the <laughs> day as well. You're speaking actual facts. Yeah, no. Daniel, dumb as hell. They had paper dollars in every state, and then they fucking made a, a <laughs> made made a currency for everybody, and they called it the greenback. Man, this is shit you learn in like the third grade, man. And Daniel th is fuck God, man. He <laughs> the answer he gave, man. Oh well, they might have used different things as money because, and, and man, Daniel, in the fucking just like it. <sighs> We always had gold and silver as money in America, you know? We had British pounds, all that shit. Whatever the fuck the French shit was, you know, all that. 
Fucking Daniel's like, Ooh, they, they did just like when America was found. He's so dumb, man. Daniel's dumb as hell, man. That boy got a head full of rocks, though, don't he? You know, let's see what else he's going to learn, quote unquote, about today. <laughs> yeah, no, that's absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. That is exactly what it was like. Sorry, my. McCathy K. Um, hi, yeah, I just, um, I read a little bit about ancient Texas, and I read somewhere, I just don't know if this is true, so maybe you can tell me, or or not, um, that a main source of income for many people there was prostitution, and they had many brothels. Yes, correct. It, uh, you were absolutely right in saying that. So in Imperial Texas, about a thousand years ago, there was a lot of of brothels in texas right so that was their biggest economy a thousand years ago i'm glad you brought that up so we're now going to talk about the giants of texas okay so the giants of texas so these are actually real archaeological finds that i've actually worked on a site before where we've been digging up these bones um and ancient dig sites right so five thousand years ago in texas at the time there were giants that were roaming around, and we have archaeological evidence, real evidence, to prove that giants were walking around. Um, as you can see in these photos, they're digging up the bones, and they actually have a giant skeleton on display um, at the Houston Museum of Natural History, right? Um, so we see a lot of giants back in the day in ancient Texas. Uh they were, they were not a part of the government of ancient Texas at the time. But um, we do still have archaeological records of them. And such as the tools they used. Now, what about giants today? Right? So there are a lot of people in the United States that actually have roots to gigantism. Right? You can take a DNA test online like Ancestry DNA. I don't know how many of you have heard of Ancestry DNA um, or like 23andMe. There's a lot of platforms where you can take DNA tests, right? Um, and if you take a DNA test, you can actually see if you have giant DNA. Now, I do have a question here. There, There is proof that there still may be a few giants yeah. in the United States. Has anybody ever seen a giant before like has um, anybody from experience my dad is oh sorry continue oh actually hold on one second uh, i think mr larson raised his hand first i will let mr larson speak first if he would okay. like to okay this is kind of off subject a little bit but um to go along with the entire uh giantism um theory um and what um other people were saying in the class i i believe in the bigfoot um kind of off subject but i have actually seen um one time camping a similar uh story wow can you can you explain your experience i've actually never heard of that before can you explain your experience with well um i was camping when i was super young I was like eight years old and um all I really remember was I was like inside the tent and I heard like a howl and um it wasn't like a bear or wolf or anything but something actually sat on my foot inside the tent and I thought at the at that age it was a bear but my family told me it was something a lot bigger um, and possibly a Bigfoot that sat on, on top of my tent on my foot. Wow. Was, was the tent destroyed? I imagine he's, he's pretty big, isn't he? The tent wasn't destroyed, but there was like a corner of the tent where it was dented in. Wow. That's I've never heard of that before. That's really, wow. That's a that's how, a crazy experience. Um, how big was it? Like exactly, like, like what were like the measurements? Like how many feet tall? I want to say like a grizzly bear, but it was 
um, it like actually sat like a human. That's that's what I was told. Yeah, by family. Wow. I was that's... asleep, so I didn't really know until I woke up. Wow, that that is a a scary experience, but an awesome experience to have because it's a really cool story to tell. Um, and I, I'm glad you were able to share that with us, um, Mr. Larson. Um, now, I know that Mr. Uh, De Niro was raising his hand. I apologize for – did you did you forget your – Man, my story, I, my, after, I, I'm not going to be able to compete with that, bro. It's, it's, it, that was a good story. Yeah, it's all, all, all good, all good. All right, so we've talked about ancient Texania. We've talked about uh, ancient Mesopotamia, all of these ancient civilizations. Right. And so I'm actually just going to do a quick, these, this doesn't count as credit. This doesn't count as, as points. Um, but I'm going to go around and just ask you to name just one fact that you think that you remember about ancient uh, Texas. OK, just one fact that you remember um, from what we did. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen here because that was the end of my presentation. Uh, we'll go around. I have not called on John Anus recently. John Anus, what is what is one fact that you think you learned today about ancient Texas? Oh yeah. Uh, so I I don't know much about uh, Texas. I I just know there's a lot of Mexicans around there. Uh, but now I uh, I heard that um, because I heard this from this guy I used to break into cars with. Um, and, and he said that, uh, Houston what was actually, uh, the, the cradle of civilization that, that instead of Africa, like humans came out of, uh, Houston and that, uh, all the archeological evidence was, uh, actually, uh, cover up. And, and I, I don't know, uh, the facts about that, but, uh, I, I think it's cool that, uh, you know, they, they had prostitution back then because, uh, I think it, that should be legalized. All right. Hell yeah. Please do not yell at my class. Thank you. Um, we'll ask um, Bobby Bobby Boucher. What do What do you think is one fact that you learned today about Texas? I, I'll get you uh, after the after Boucher, uh, Mr. Larson. I saw your hand. Yeah, I learned about. Um... The Texonian Wonders, the the temple. Um, I thought I thought that was super cool, and the history of that is just super fascinating to me. Uh, I love history. I love Texas. Love pyramids. Put them all together. It's like a win win win. Very good, very good, uh, Mr. Larson. I apologize. I I saw your hand right at the end there. Um, what is one thing that you learned about ancient Texas today? Well, um, I didn't even know that. Um and that there were like skeletons that were actually like um dug out of the ground that were like the skull of the human is like the size of a like a normal human being today yeah they were i didn't very even big. know <laughs> i didn't even know that there was like skeletons of like human beings the size of dinosaurs yeah no it's a very very interesting fact and the fact that they um, originated in the ancient city or ancient state of Texas um, is incredible. So yeah, that's it's it's definitely a new fact to people who have not um, heard about it in their previous classes before or have not attended college. Um, obviously, it's we we teach college level courses here. Um, one more person, I'm gonna pick. I wonder if Daniel's spitting some of them facts about the Giants and shit in jail. You never know, man. He might be telling him he's in college and all this shit that he learned. I wonder how mad his probation officer is going to be whenever. Well, it's not an issue now. I think he probably went to jail. I haven't checked the Reddit, but he went to court today. Yeah, but if he's not in jail, you know what I mean? He could he could totally, you know, if he told his probation officer he was going to college and then they found out it was just dumb shit, you know what I mean? It, it wouldn't end well for Daniel, man. It, it just wouldn't. But yeah, let's watch this shit. Person, I'm going to pick up, pick for something that they learned today. I'm going to pick on McCarthy K. McCarthy K, are you here? Yeah, so I learned a couple things today, actually. Um, 
I did not know that ancient Texas was the, they were the first people to have pyramids. One, I thought that was really interesting because I think people give that credit to Egypt a lot um, in Africa. And then what was the name of the first ruler of ancient Texas? I believe it was a shitted and farted. A sheed. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. A uh, uh, I think it, it was uh Ashid Fardad. No, uh, it's, it's a, a, a teacher. No, is that true. right or, or am I wrong? No, I think you're right. It's like Ashid uh, Ashid uh, Fardad. Is that right? No, it's like Ashid uh, Farida. Ashid and Fardid. Everyone stop yelling Ashid out. Ashid Fardid. Ashid uh, no, Fardid. The, the, the name the name is Ashid and Farad. Ashid oh. and Farad, yes. Um uh, so, excuse me, teacher. I gotta go to my parole hearing, uh, so I gotta leave. Is that is that okay? That is fine. Class is about to end anyway. Um, there will be no homework for this first class that we're having, uh, just because it's an introductory class. Um, but expect for next week, um, we're going to start studying the music of ancient times. We're really going to get into um, the music and the songs that they created in ancient Mesopotamia and ancient Texas. All right. Um, so I appreciate you guys being here and being on time. You guys have all been great. Um, if you have any questions for me, um, please let me know now and I can answer them. I have a question from Kathy K. You can yeah. Ask your so I just found a few of the things really interesting from today's class. And I did take a picture of the Giants. Would you be okay if I were to show that to a friend or something? Absolutely, yes. Um, any any screenshots or anything of the presentation that you took today, feel feel free to post them. Feel free to share them. Um, it isn't something that's private or anything. Uh, obviously, we're learning here. So if you guys want to help others learn, that would be great. I would be happy if you did that. Um, so good question. Anybody else have a question? Anybody else? Any more questions? All right. I think we are good. I want to thank you guys for coming today. I will see you guys again. Um, the schedule will also be put onto the Google Classroom so you can see when our next class is. Um, and I thank you guys. If you guys want to contact me, definitely contact me through my email on the Google Classroom. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good night. More of like, uh, instead of uh, world history, more of like world alien history. <laughs> like, what the F? <laughs> yeah, well, I thought it was weird about the entire uh, human-sized skeleton. No, dinosaur-sized skeletons. If you look at that picture... The person that dug up the skeleton of, like, the actual head just alone was the size of him. Oh, man, that was some quality entertainment there. I, I thoroughly enjoyed watching that. I thought it was pretty funny, all the different names and shit that they used. You know, that was pretty funny, too. It was, a, overall, a very good, you know, trolling job. They, they're hurting Daniel, you know what I mean? They're not hurting nobody else but that idiot Daniel. And at the end of the day, anybody that trolls like that, definitely, you know, they got my seal of approval. That's definitely the way to do it. You know, you don't want to hurt other people or bring other people into it. Because you see Daniel talking about getting a gun and shit like that. Hopefully you don't kill that Grace girl. Y'all need to stop pretending to be her. But, yeah, you guys have a good night. Later on. Bye.